I want to introduce to you guys the concept of sounding yoga. Sounding yoga is a very unique experience and I think that everybody needs to experience it for themselves to really understand what it is about. It's a very, very powerful experience in my experience, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, many people have heard about the power of sound, of sound vibration, of sound frequency. The power of the voice, the voice of an opera singer at a very high octave to shatter a glass, for example. The sound frequency, the sound wave being so powerful that it interrupts the structure of the glass and shatters it. That's the most basic example that we have of how sound frequency and sound waves can impact physical materials. So imagine if you can create sound within your own body, sound frequency, sound vibration. Imagine what that does at a cellular level to shake up any energy in your body, to help you release energy that is blocked energy that may be stuck, energy that needs to be released from our bodies. Can help to relieve physical pain, can help to get your digestive system moving again. Um, in some instances, it brings up physical pain in order to be released. So it's a very interesting and very powerful tool. I think everybody should experience it at least one time in their life. To, to understand, to feel it, to experience it. Many people come back again and again because of course each time you're going to experience something different <clears throat> and each person will experience something different depending what's going on in their energy and their chakras and their body. But what exactly is it? And what has the sound and the voice got to do with yoga? Well, we combine the two together the physical movements of our yoga practice with sound vibration that we create with our own voices. We have seven chakras within the physical body or energy centers. And each of these chakras has a sound or a chant or a hum related to that chakra, a different frequency, a different tone, and a different word, if you like, a different sound that we make for each of those chakras. As we shift the sound through the different tones, we move that vibration to different parts of the body. And that's where the magic happens. But we combine that with our physical practice of yoga. In some people's experience, it allows them to go deeper into the pose when they sound, when they make that sound vibration as they're performing a particular asana or pose. And in some cases, we just free flow through um, a sequence, a yoga sequence. And as we flow, we go where our intuition brings us with that sound. And this is why you've got to experience it to, to know what I'm talking about, because that probably doesn't make much sense at all. I'm going to give you a little bit of an example of the sounding and then a very short example of adding some of the sound to the different movements and how it relates to the different chakras. So one of my favorite chakras is root chakra. Root chakra keeps us connected to the earth, keeps us grounded, keeps us strong, focused, etc. Really, really important that we're connected and grounded. Root chakra is represented by the color red and the sound that we make for the root chakra is quite a low tone. As we move up the other chakras, the tone is a little higher. We chant, we breathe. And then begin by creating the sound for the root chakra, which is haw is the sound for the root chakra.
So on the last one there, I've just played a little bit with the sound. When you bring the tone a little higher, you feel the vibration in a different part of your body. The lower frequencies relate to the lower chakras. So when we combine this with our yoga movements, for example, for the root chakra, we may be performing an asana or a pose such as warrior. Warrior opens out this area of the body. We're low to the floor. We're pushing towards the floor. It's a very grounding movement. And many people report that as they add the sound, they can go deeper into this pose. And perhaps as we bend back, begin to bring the heart and the throat into it and the tone goes higher. We have a different sound that we make for each of the chakras so the sound for the heart or the throat will be a different sound but the tone will go higher and this is something very magical that happens in our workshops. Um, people will just be guided where they want to go and sometimes we try to create the sound for the higher chakras but our body keeps bringing us back to one of the lower chakras that we need to work on. And as I've said before, you really need to experience this to really to get what I'm talking about, to, to, to understand it. But the power of sound has been well documented. It's really amazing and combining it with our yoga practice and with the chants, the sounds for each of the chakras is so, so powerful. So I would love you to come and join me for one of my workshops. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. I have a blog post on more information about the experience that you can expect during one of the workshops on my website, which is www.beautifullifeyoga.ie. You can go to the blog section there and the events section. Um, but please do feel free to contact me if you have questions at all. And I really hope to see you sometime for this really wonderful, wonderful experience. Okay, that's it for me, from me for now, and I hope to chat with you guys soon.